Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Rule of Waves 2 as Great Britain. Wow, this battle's really been going on for a long time. Now, granted, I have significantly slowed down going minute by minute for the last while, so we have been at a very critical juncture in this uh, engagement, but hopefully we'll be able to start accelerating the pace soon. So, quick overview of where we stand. The Arizona down here is in very bad shape, but I'm pretty sure she is sinking. She's taken several torpedoes, and I don't see a whole lot else going on down here. The Illinois over here is somehow still moving, but we have absolutely hammered her. So we've done quite a bit of damage, so hopefully we'll be able to put that properly out of mind. Speaking of which, uh, actually, hey, test destroyer defender is almost in position to torpedo that thing and put it down properly. Arun is sinking. What's the dune doing? Yeah, she's not doing too hot. So, okay, these two are back on screen. They don't have any torpedoes, so hopefully they're actually hopefully they're actually trying to get back to the Leviathan. They're a little bit out of position here. All right, and Andromeda is sinking. And these American cruisers are just in all manner of bad shape here. Okay, this one is well, supposedly this Pueblo is sinking. I don't know about that. Actually, let's see. Do we have anything in our log? Okay. Let's see. So I'm seeing some reports about Nevada getting smashed by 17-inch guns. Illinois eats a whole bunch of 4-inch guns. And Pueblo is getting hit by 5-inch guns. And more five-inch guns. Okay, I don't think she's actually in any serious trouble. I don't particularly believe that whole sinking report. But we also have the South Carolina and the Nevada class, both of which are still, amazingly enough, they are still afloat. So they've taken quite a bit of damage, but they are still up and still fighting. So... We do have the enemy sort of split up, or actually, technically, we have the enemy surrounded. And we are in the process of cutting off their retreat. Their last few cruisers are in fairly poor shape. Their last few heavy cruisers, because they are facing off against, well, they're facing off against Iron Dukes, and they are not designed to repel firepower of that magnitude. I think I've made that joke way too many times now, though, so I'm going to stop. Okay, that said, uh, they still have one significant credible threat. That is the this Yorktown class. So I do believe... Alright, so Juggernaut is currently defending herself against those heavy cruisers because they've been doing some significant damage. The Iron Dukes have... Well, okay, I haven't, haven't run for a turn yet, so I don't think we can really issue any orders or assign anything yet based on what they're already doing. Okay, so we'll just run that for a turn. Uh-oh. Juggernaut hit by a torpedo. Oh, that, that basically bounced off. Okay, speed is reduced, but she's still chugging along just fine. We'll drop down to 20 knots just to make sure she's safe. Okay. Okay, here we go. So that's what's going on. So that must have been an air launch torpedo then. Okay, so three enemy torpedo bombers go after the Leviathan. Oh, oh wait. Hold on. What's going on down here? Why are my fleet carriers... Oh, 
I am so confused. That is not right. Get you out of here. And what is the Indomitable doing here? That's not right. You guys were supposed to be much further up this way. All right, let's turn you away and run. Because I want you guys nowhere near those battleships, especially that Illinois class. Okay. Well, at least we're doing some kind of damage. Here we go. Well, I'm not surprised that Argonaut has a lot of damage. She's taken some pretty hefty hits. All right, let's see. What are these guys after? Okay, targeting New York, Yorktown, and unidentified ship. Now that's totally useful. Okay, I would very much like you guys to focus fire on that Yorktown class battle cruiser. Take that down, and then we'll worry about these heavy cruisers and transports. And the Ugernaut. Well, she's shrugged off that hit. Hopefully, everyone else is okay. And it looks like we have a whole mess of broken, confused heavy cruisers along here. Arizona, I'm confident she is sinking. She's taken enough damage already. The Illinois class, I don't think she's quite there yet. And what is up with these big flags? I don't know. But hopefully Defender is able to... Actually, let's see. Are we in a position to torpedo? Oh, she reattached to something. Not the Arun. Not the Dune. Well, hopefully she at least flushed her torpedoes. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, we're going to turn you guys back north for one more shot, just to be safe. And Dune, you can run away. Oh, wow. We're doing a lot of damage with those things. Three enemy torpedo bombs go in. We destroy one, damage a second one, and then we destroy the remaining two. So that entire wing is taken out. And going after the Sappho, we take d damage one, damage a second one. Hopefully that is two different ones. Okay, Behemoth takes an engine room hit. Okay. Well, with that in mind, let's see if we can finish off that Nevada. All right. So, Behemoth, I want you to work your way out and shift your fire to the Nevada. And you can keep on steaming that way. Leviathan, I want you turning around to attack these things and hopefully we can get some good mo some more good damage on that Illinois. How are things looking to the north? Okay, Juggernaut is avoiding torpedoes. I'm surprised it didn't give me a pop-up for that. All right, next turn. There we go. Three more 17 inch hits on the Illinois. That's the sort of thing we're looking for. Two turrets knocked out. Behemoth has one more turret disabled. No bomb hits. Nothing too significant here. How's those torpedoes looking? 
pretty good. We'll launch that last torpedo now. Yep, there we go. And then you fellows can go back on AI control. What are you guys doing? Why are you... Oh, you guys must be avoiding air attack. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. That's all looking okay. Next turn. Yeah, that's fine. Keep on firing. Behemoth taking hits. How are these guys doing? I have no idea what these carriers are doing all the way down here. They teleported from up there. And it looks like a lot of our other ships are split up and... Con okay, Amphitrite is disengaging because she is a survivor. She's heading straight back home. That is fine. Enterprise and Endeavor are heading towards the front. So hopefully they'll actually do something useful. Maybe chasing down the transports, maybe chasing some of these cruisers, I don't know. But at least they'll be in the front. And I believe these guys are trying to dodge torpedoes, or trying to dodge air attack. Pretty sure that heavy cruiser is down. This battle cruiser is still a threat. And I'm not really seeing much else here, but I do want my destroyers to get out in front. So we're going to form these fellows up and get them in there before my battleships get torpedoed. On that note, I do think that is worth turning them back around for at least now. Get them nice and close to that Yorktown so we can do a bunch of damage to her. There we go, next turn. Man, that Illinois is just doing all sorts of trouble to us. Okay, one, two, three, 16 inch hits on the Yorktown. I'm seeing some four inch hits on the Illinois and some five inch hits on the Illinois. I would sure appreciate some more 17 inch hits though. Okay, quick review. All right, Ugernaut is doing a terrible job targeting that Nevada class. And Behemoth is doing a terrible job targeting the Nevada class as well. And Leviathan is doing a pretty poor job too. Carrier impermeable is firing at them. Why? Well, at least you're doing a thing. Next turn. There we go. Get some hits on that Yorktown. That ought to do some damage. Illinois fires at the behemoth, and this time we actually repel the uh, damage for once. Why are you turning? All right, Behemoth, I'm going to order you just go straight back home. Just, just turn around, go home, and we'll call that good. And Argus, fire spreads again. Ugh. Well, at least she's getting up to speed. I am dead serious, Argus. If you sink because of one 300-pound bomb hit, I will erase you from existence. You will not even be an entry in this game save file anymore. Uh, 
Okay. Next turn. There we go. Put a few more hits into the Illinois. Silence another thing. Looks like Rodney is doing damage to the transports now. That's good. Hopefully my destroyers actually pick up speed. So we can get in, first of all, into the destroyer, into the transports, but also I want to get those destroyers knocked out so that they are no longer a threat. Juggernaut is... Come on, what does it take to sink this thing? She's still fighting. Oh, one thing I will say, big ships take a lot to sink. Uh-oh. Pueblo class opens fire at carrier impermeable. That is not good. Okay, Leviathan, I need you to shift your fire to those heavy cruisers. Specifically... Sure, we'll target that group. And then I'm doing manual targeting to shoot up that Pueblo. Ooh, excuse me, there we go. And we're gonna turn you back towards. And Behemoth, for all your damage and all your fires, I need you to screen. Looks like our torpedoes missed the Illinois, but they are could still do damage to the Pueblo and those heavy cruisers. So we'll keep them going around. Don't care about old destroyers. Ah, getting plenty of hits on them transports. Few more 16 inch hits on the Yorktown. That is fantastic news. That was from the Rodney, so the closest one. And I'm seeing hits, four inch hits from on the Illinois. Come on, what does it take to sink this darn thing? All right, sinking destroyer gets hit some more. Don't care. Yorktown takes. Two, four, six, 16 inch hits and three, five inch hits. Fantastic. Impermeable is out of ammo for guns that bear. What, what do you mean? Oh, okay, firing arcs. Yeah, those are all wing turrets which don't have arc on the Illinois. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I think we're decent for now. Any other reports? Nope, next turn. Quick review, destroyer Christopher is launching torpedoes. Oh, looks like you're launching torpedoes in multiple directions at once. You know what? No, save your torpedoes. Wait until you get close. Let's see, I think at this point, it's safe enough to turn this away, because I don't think that Yorktown is going to be moving for a whole lot longer. Nevada fires three heavy guns at the Juggernaut, and they bounce! They bounce? Wow. Don't color me surprised. Okay, I think it is safe enough for the Juggernaut to pick a different target now. So we're going to take that. I don't need to worry about the Battle Cruiser U Yorktown anymore. Let's see about some of these other heavy cruisers. Like, I don't know, this one. Yeah, that seems like a decent target. Okay, 
target assigned. You should be running to the north to get out of the to get out of dodge. Looks like the Indomitable is actually obeying. So I'll have you run north as well. At the fastest you can run. Okay. No, nope, don't care about that. And next turn. There we go. I think we're getting some good hits on those transports. Collingwood gets some solid hits on that Yorktown, so she's in trouble. I do believe that Yorktown ain't going anywhere anytime soon. That's one, two turrets. At least three turrets not firing, and I can't tell. I think that third tur that last turret is out as well. And she's on fire. Okay, good. Yep, Yorktown is no longer fighting fit. Which means we can turn these battleships around and start going after those transports. And I think it's also safe. Let's drop you down 29 knots, let them reform. I think it is also safe to shift our fire from that Yorktown back to some of these heavy cruisers. So let's see, what kind of heavy cruisers do we have? Let's try that one. Or perhaps that one. No, 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 no. Ah, that seems like a good target. Okay, turn off the manual targeting so that they'll actually select sensible targets now. Pretty sure my destroyers will be able to chomp through those uh, transports fairly easily. Actually, with that in mind, shift your fire to those transports for the next couple turns and see what kind of damage you can get. Okay, next turn. All right, we're getting some hits on the Pueblo. Got another five inch hit on the New York. Don't. Not particularly worried. Arun is getting hit some more by something. Don't particularly care. Yorktown gets hit. Yorktown gets hit some more. And the transports. This transport has absorbed a lot of fire. Now, well, at least the uh, destroyers are starting to shoot as well. So I should be able to start taking those things out. Catapult launch search float planes? No. We are not doing any searches. Actually, that reminds me. No more search. Okay, what are battle? Great Britain main force. No search. Okay. Great Britain coastal force. Eh, not to worry about that. Scout force. No search. Carrier force. No search. Okay. So those are all set. How is the Argus doing? Looks like she's actually starting to turn things around. I'm still going to keep her going straight towards harbor, though. And she's actually up to speed now, so that is a good sign. All right, back to the log. Hey, we got a hit on the Pueblo. Okay, and next turn. There we go. Destroyers are finally shooting at the transports, so we're seeing some good hits on that. Did, did one of you launch torpedoes? Okay, looks like Lynx launched torpedoes. And I... At the Yorktown class? Okay, well, I don't want to go in the path of that Yorktown, of those torpedoes, so we're steering well clear. Let's see, I'm seeing 5-inch gun hits on the New York. From the Juggernaut, okay. Like to see a few more hits on this somehow still moving Illinois. Okay. 
Yorktown taking plenty of 5-inch hits. New York taking a few more 16-inch hits. I don't think we need to shoot her anymore. Let's see about targeting some of these other things. So we're going to shift our fire to... Let's see, what's a decent target? So Nevada class, two ships in the division. Or we could go for the New York. Des Moines, Des Moines. Not too worried about that. How's she moving? Already called sinking. That one's definitely already sinking. Unidentified ships, battle cruiser, destroyer, unknown cruiser, South Carolina. You know what? South Carolina is still moving and she is still shooting. So we're going to shift our fire onto her. And pour a whole bunch of 16-inch shell fire at her. Okay. Oh, oh. Next turn. Okay. More 4-inch hits on the Illinois. What is taking so long to shoot these things? Illinois is still moving at a distressing pace. Leviathan, weren't you supposed to be shooting at her? Trigger not fires, trigger not fires. I'm not seeing any gunfire from the Leviathan. Why are you not shooting? Okay, let's take a quick look. So rate of fire is not exactly great. Targeting Pueblo class? What? You're not supposed to be targeting Pueblo class. You're supposed to be targeting the Illinois. Behemoth has the Pueblo class under fire. Okay, let's change that. Arizona, no. Nevada class, okay. Let's try setting the individual ship target. There we go, Illinois. Okay, try this one more time. Okay, I throw a few more 16 inch shells at the New Yorktown for good measure. I'm fine with that. How is the juggernaut doing? Shooting up that New York. Good. Okay, Juggernaut can turn to the south. Why are you heading that direction? What sort of thing could the impermeable be recovering that is worth heading south? Let's see. Oh god, she's launching recon planes. She's launching completely unnecessary recon planes, and she's going to be steaming in that direction for the next 20 turns. Oh god, you idiots. You absolute idiots. That's why I said don't search. Okay, I am extending my same threat to you, impermeable. Okay, time to shift our fire. We're going after, no, not that one. Where's the other destroyer division? Here we go. There we go. Yep, shift your fire there. And torpedoes free. How is that thing still stinging back? 
Okay, Iron Duke opens fire at the South Carolina. Hooray. And that should finally put a stop to her. Transports are getting shot up. I'm quite confident this invasion will not go off now. And hey, we finally have a hit on the Illinois. Okay. Next turn. Illinois takes two more hits. Our destroyers are unleashing torpedoes. Good. I don't know what the Christopher is doing, but she did just have her bridge shot out, so fair enough. A little bit of confusion is okay. All right, Yorktown taking another 16-inch gun hit. South Carolina taking another 16-inch gun hit. Okay, keep rolling. There we go, I like this. There we go, Pueblo is taking some more damage. New York class, why are you... Why are you shooting up that New York? She's already sinking. I would very much prefer it if you would put your gunfire someplace useful. Let's see, so Leviathan is targeting the Illinois. Juggernaut, I would like you to put some more fire on the Nevada. There we go. I appreciate the additional shells into the New York. That's, that's nice, but let's see. Yorktown is still getting shredded and I'm seeing some 16 inch gun hits on the South Carolina class. Outstanding. Yep, keep on shooting. Keep firing, fellows. Let's see, these heavy cruisers are running to the southwest. Some of them are not even running all that slowly. I hope that my destroyers can... Wow, I don't even have all that many destroyers left over here. Let's see, how's my escaping ships doing? I wish those were available. Actually, what are you doing? You are doing a terrible job of scouting. I need you actually over here where you can shoot things that matter. There we go. Do we want to pick up survivors with the cockatrice? Yes. She does not have torpedoes right now, so that's fine. All right, let's see, we got a few more. Nothing significant. Pretty sure that Yorktown is done. She has absorbed a lot of 16 inch gunfire. Okay, and the impermeable is actually getting shot at. <sighs> Are you finally going to abandon your idiotic attempt to launch recon that we don't need? At least the Indomitable is getting out of there. Okay, Behemoth, you can shift your fire to the Pueblo. Take her under fire and sink her quickly, please. Uh, next turn. No. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we can send Defender off to pick up stuff. Okay, anything more? A bunch of 5-inch gun hits. One 16-inch hit on the South Carolina. But nothing too significant. Next turn. Let's see. Oh, come on. I want to check if Test has torpedoes. Okay, yes, you can go. 
Oh, Supermarine rocks approaching targets. Good. Any more? Here's another 16-inch hit on the Yorktown. I think she's finished. Can somebody please, please shoot out that Alwyn class before these destroyers go torpedo everything? And why are you still targeting the Yorktown? All right, start turning away from those destroyers. I do not want to get torpedoed by a cap by a ship killer. Let's see. Nope, mostly five-inch gun hits this turn. All right, next turn. Hey, there's a torpedo hit. Oh my god, Nevada is still moving, and somehow she fires at the Rodney, even though her guns are pointed in completely the different direction. And Rodney takes a engine room hit. Well, she's still moving, so that's a good sign. Just another 16-inch hit on the Yorktown. Why are you guys still targeting the Yorktown? You know what? I'm going to tell you guys to do something useful like shooting up that Alwyn class that is at point blank range. Flatten her before she gets to launch torpedoes. Oh, well, looks like somebody launched torpedoes at the Yorktown. Hopefully you hit. But save the rest of them because we are getting close to that South Carolina and Nevada. Okay, still good, still good. Those are all five inch hits. Yeah, again, nothing significant this turn. Next turn, come on. Well, that's some decent looking torpedoes. More five inch gun hits. One 16 inch hit on the South Carolina, hooray. Oh good, at least you're targeting something. Why do you insist on targeting the Yorktown? She's not a threat anymore. I told you to go after the Nevada. Okay, you know what? We're going to manually set target to Nevada. There we go. Assigned. You'd better shoot him now. Okay, there's some stuff. Looks like mostly 5-inch guns, more 5-inch guns, but hey, they finally hammered that Alwyn class. Torpedo, gun, gun. She still has torpedoes left, though, so she is still a threat. Still firing at the Yorktown. Because why not? And still firing at a sinking heavy cruiser. Still got strikes going on near the uh, carrier formation. Probably something left sinking, but you never know. There we go, getting some, finally firing some capital ship guns. One, two, three, 17 inch hits on the Illinois. Okay, her guns are finally silenced. Just out of curiosity, How's my carrier doing? The impermeable. Well, she may have taken a few hits, but it looks like she does not have any issues. All right. Turn you back to the north. Okay, moving right along. Collingwood avoiding torpedoes from where? Turn together, hard to port, get away from those destroyers. Huh. 
Hey, another bomb hit on that carrier. Looks like we are taking care of business with these destroyers. Somehow I doubt she's still just light damage. Another 17 inch hit on the Illinois. And we're still fleeing a lot of stuff there. Okay, Juggernaut, you can turn back south now. Now the Collingwood is still avoiding torpedoes. Okay, but I don't see any hits. More bomb hits on whatever that is. So that's good. And a five inch shell on the Arizona. How's Behemoth doing? Still floating, still fighting. Would appreciate if she got that uh, gun turret back, but. Okay, we've got lots of five inch guns on the New York. Yeah. Some more 17 inch shells into that Illinois. I wonder if we're just over penetrating the Illinois in one side and out the other. That is entirely possible. Okay, next turn. Enemy aircraft approaching Argus. Uh-oh. Oh no, not more dive bombers. Oh, come on. Hang in there, Argus. Well, the good news is she's at speed. All right, we'll throw another 17 inch hit at the Nevada. Good. And that was from the Juggernaut. Good, she is targeting the correct thing this time. Cruiser Perseus is firing torpedoes. Which, which ship is Perseus? Okay. Well, you're finally doing something useful. Just wish it was, you know, a little bit better timed there. All right. Pretty sure Behemoth has these things under control. We're going to turn you... Well, no, I still want that rear gun on target going after the Pueblo. So we're going to keep going that way to the south. And of course the fire spreads on Argus just before the dive bombers arrive. Perfect timing. Okay, more random targeting the wrong things. That Yorktown is definitely sinking. Why are you still shooting at it? Okay, I think we are safe at this point to bring the Iron Dukes back around. I don't see any more reports about torpedoes. So we're going to form those back up into line ahead. And hard to starboard. Okay. And Argus just took two more hits. And yep, fires are spreading. Can't believe it. Why would the dive bombers fly that far past all of this fighting over here in order to go after that? Throw in two more hits. And she is going insane. Whatever happened to the escorts? Usually when you detach a uh, capital ship, a number of escorts go with her. Well, at least this... How... How many planes were in that strike? OK. 
Okay, so we've got this Alwyn class is almost under control. Bring the Iron Dukes back around. How is Behemoth doing? Did we ever get that fire out? Oh, good. Fires are out on the Behemoth. Now we can focus on getting that turret back. Oh, hang on. There's an Arizona to the south. Well, I don't like that. All right. Well, in the interest of trying to keep this thing alive, we're going to turn Behemoth to the north, and we're going to shift our fire to that Nevada, or sorry, Arizona. No, not that Arizona. Why are they still misidentifying divisions? Okay, we're just going to set individual ship target. So that's what it takes, and that's what it takes. Arizona, Arizona. Do you somehow not have sight of it? Apparently we somehow cannot see the Arizona. That is well within radar and... Uh, other conditions. Okay, never mind then. I guess there's not a whole lot we can do. I'll turn you around. We'll bring these guys in as well. Try and close in on that Nevada. And, well, there goes the Argus. Fire's raging out of control thanks to a random dive bomber strike out of nowhere. Yep, Argus, I am erasing you from history. You do not exist. As far as I am considered, you and your entire crew never happened. Because you're a bunch of raging idiots. Okay, Arizona class hit. How on earth is that thing still going? Wow, it's only 9 a.m. Here we are three or four episodes into the battle and it's only 9 a.m. and this is nowhere near finished. Not even slightly. All right, the transports are definitely turned back, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. At this point, all I really need to focus on is damaging as many capital ships as I can. Well, somehow I disbelieve that medium damage report. I am almost certain that she is sinking. How is that Nevada still going? She should be done. And that South Carolina is still moving too? I am just appalled. This is absolutely horrifying. I wish my ships were that tough. Okay, hang on, that's the Leviathan, that's the Iron Dukes, which are still targeting that destroyer. And that New York class, because why not? Okay, I currently have one Juggernaut tar targeting the Nevada, and I have Leviathan targeting the Illinois. What's Behemoth doing? Okay, she did properly target the Arizona. 
Well, that's good. So let's start turning you south. Let's start turning you guys south. And let's see about getting our escorts regrouped. And why is the South Carolina still moving? Okay, I do need to start doing something about that. Juggernaut, shift your fire to the South Carolina. She is somehow still afloat and still fighting. Okay, target shifted. And just to be safe, we'll give her a direct order to target the South Carolina. All right, next turn. Oop, torpedo alert. That Alwyn class is in position. And she does theoretically have functional torpedo tubes. Take evasive action. And well, here we are at the end of another 50 minute long episode and this battle is nowhere closer to being concluded. Well, hopefully next episode will be a little bit better. Until then, uh, we'll have to see. Katori87 signing out.